Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Duck here once again. Right, now this is going to be sort of a response to the video I did earlier with the top 10 most anticipated games of 2012. This one is going to be the best, my favourite games of 2012 so far, okay? And I promise I will get, the titles of these videos will get less boring and more varied as time goes on, okay? This is, the, this is just one that someone requested on Twitter, so I'm going to do it, so yeah. Uh, I did something like this back in 2010, I don't think I did it for 2011, but yeah, in any case, here are the 10 games that I've, the be 10 best games I've played uh, this year so far. You know, uh, but I gotta say it first, you know, like I said in my top 10 most anticipated uh, games, um, I had a hard time picking, finding 10 games, you know, for both videos. You know, I managed to uh, collect 10, but... It's, it really just goes to show me, 2012 has just been a kind of lame year for gaming as a whole, you know? What with, like, um, game sales and that going out. I think the reason game sales are so down at the moment is because there isn't really much out. There really isn't. Um, but, whatever. I've got ten games right here and someone is, there's some kids screaming outside right now. Shut the fuck! And the window's closed now. Okay. So, yeah. Let's get right into this. Okay, I have seven physical games right here, and I have three digital games that I got on Steam. So yeah, first one I'm going to talk about is The Darkness 2. Now, I was a really big fan of the first Darkness. It was one of my first 360 games. I enjoyed it a lot. And this one, I have a hard time. I have a hard time saying if it was better or not because in a lot of ways it really was, but in terms of leaving like a big impression on me, it didn't deliver quite as much. I mean, as fun as it is to play and as well executed as it is, and how fun it was while it lasted, the key words being while it lasted there, it's stupidly short, okay? You can beat the game in like five hours easily. And not just that, it's got really one of those fuck you, you better buy the epilogue DLC when it comes out endings, you know? It just ends on a big massive fucking cliffhanger. Not enough to hype up for Darkness 3, but you just know that they were planning to release DLC for it. And that just really left a sour taste in my mouth, and I'm just like, oh jeez. So with that said, I can pretty much guarantee that it won't be in my top 10 for uh, 2000 at the end of the year when I do make that video, you know. Um, I should mention, these aren't in any specific order, by the way. I'm just going to hold them up, you know, just to leave a little bit of a surprise when I do do my top 10 games of 2000. Uh, 12, you know. So yeah, Darkness 2. It was good. Just a bit annoying, that's all. Okay, on to a more positive note. Uh, the other, another Steam game I got was Max Payne 3. Now, I was a little bit... Uh, I approached Max Payne 3 with a bit of caution. When it was first, when it first came out, that is. You know, I didn't actually buy it. But, um, it was... I was... I didn't like the fact that it was being made by Rockstar, you know, I don't like it when franchises get outsourced to other developers, you know, because they tend to end up pretty bad. But I was impressed to hear that Remedy, you know, the original creators of Max Payne, actually came out and said that Rockstar did a good job making the game. So I thought to myself, oh, maybe I'll check it out. So I picked it up on the Steam sale and I enjoyed it immensely, okay? For those of you who are fans of the Max Payne games, pretty much everything in those games, you know, is held intact in Max Payne 3. The only thing they've really done is add a whole bunch of shit. You know, like, um, make it more of a blockbuster setting and all that. Um, a bit, few more fight scenes and whatnot, but all the stuff that you like about Max Payne is in there. At least as far as I was concerned. Um, but yeah, it was a really good third-person shooter. It, yeah, I, I don't know, I really like... I really do enjoy a competent shooting game, you know, which was just challenging enough and, you know, left a big impact and didn't have a big fuck you ending. Uh, it was very, very good game. I, I enjoyed it immensely. I really did. So, yeah, Max Payne 3. And uh, the last game, or games, I should say, because I'm counting these as one, but it was two games part of the same, part of the same series and you can... It's going to be quite a stretch to call these 2012 releases, but... I'm going to say them anyway. Ease Oath of Falgana and Ease Origin. Now, I believe Ease Oath of Falgana came out for the PSP, you know, before 2012. So, it came out on Steam in 2012, though. But 
But in any case, I'll leave that out of the way because my favourite of the two was Ease Origin. That game really just... I don't know, every once in a very few times, you know, you'll just sit down there with a game and you'll be like, oh my god, I can't stop playing this. This is really fucking good and you just want to go out and tell everyone how great it was. If there was one thing uh, in terms of my gaming life that happened to me in 2012, which I really loved, it was the fact that I discovered Falcom. You know, I started playing a lot of their games, I loved them all so much and yeah, they've really become one of my favourite companies. Um, you know, like Trails in the Sky, which is up there on my shelf, that came out in 2011. But I'll tell you damn straight right now, it's Trails in the Sky, you know, I'll put a wee picture up here or something, but that game is the best game I've played in 2012, even though it didn't come out in 2012, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. But, yeah, definitely Ease Origin and Ease of Folk, both Falgana as well, both fantastic games. So, yeah. Um, those were all the digital stuff, and the rest is all, um, physical. Right, let me organize this accordingly. Right, now the first one I'm going to bring up is um, Binary Domain. Now, we're going to start with this one. It's from the Yakuza team. Uh, as you all know, I'm a massive Yakuza fan. And just like any Yakuza fan, when you heard that the developers were making a fucking shooting game, you were probably a little bit like, what? What? But... Uh, rest assured, this game was absolutely great in every sense of the way. I already said I really like, you know, those sort of competent single-player shooting games, you know, and this delivered a lot, you know. Um, I've got a full review up, so I'll not talk about it too much, but in any case, this really was one of my favourite games of the year. I was very surprised by it. Um, a lot better than Yakuza Dead Souls, which you're not seeing in this pile, by the way, because I was a bit... That wasn't that good, Yakuza Dead Souls, you know. But, whatever, Binary Domain was awesome. Highly recommend it. Okay. Now, you know, this is funny actually. I have. No, actually, I've got um, two 3DS games here, but I also have two Vita games. Now, a lot of you know that I currently only have three Vita games, so yeah. Uh, first one was Uncharted Golden Abyss, which was a launch title for the Vita. Say what you will, guys. Okay, you know I was talking about outsourcing a while back. This actually did get outsourced from Naughty Dog. Usually I would hate it, but when I played it, I thought it was just as good as the console games. I've already went on about this, but seriously, it was that good to me. You know, I'm, I really like the Uncharted games, and this just did not disappoint in the slightest. It was really, really fucking good. Um, I've talked about it enough, so I'm not going to beat a dead horse here, but yeah, definitely... One of the top, my top ten so far, like. And um, I've done the same with this game, Gravity Rush. You know, looking back on Gravity Rush, by the way, there really is a lot wrong with this game. Okay, the combat isn't really that fleshed out. Some of the plot points aren't explored explored enough, and there really could have been more to do in the overworld. You know, like more side missions and stuff, because some of them could get damn infuriating as well. I'll tell you that. But the overall charm and experience of it all was just so, like, fantastic to me. It really was worth buying a Vita for. This game, it truly is. Um, I've already talked about other Vita games I want to get by the end of the year, but yeah, seriously. Gravity Rush, uh, you gotta love it. It was really fucking good. One of the best new IPs that Sony's brought out in a while, to be honest. So yeah, way to go. Right, um... Next, we'll talk about these. Um, okay. You probably expected to see this. This is probably my probably my game of the year so far. Will that change? Who knows? But yeah. Last story. Again, I had a review of this up. And I'll just bring this up as well. As what, Pandora's Tower. I've got reviews for both of these up. I, I think I reviewed this one. Well, in any case... Fantastic games. This just recently came out in America. I hope all of you are embracing it because it is well worth embracing. And America, it doesn't look like you're going to get this one now. Um, don't be too gutted because you did get the better two uh, Operation Rainfall games. But it still sucks because this was still fantastic a lot. And yeah, these were both big enjoyments for me. You know, uh, in 2012, loved every minute of both of these games. So yeah, that's that. Um, the last two are both 3DS games. Um, the first one is a uh, Rhythm Thief and the Emperor's Treasure. Um, think Professor Layton meets uh, 
sort of a mixture between Space Channel 5 and Samba de Amigo. Again, I had a review of this up, so no point going into it. And I had a review of the last game up as well, Kid Icarus Uprising. I'll just say it again, controls, really hard to get used to, but when you do, it's a lot of fun, and everything else about the game to the storyline and the friggin' hilarious dialogue and all that really just puts a smile on your face. The same can sort of be said for Rhythm Thief, but in a different extent, you're kind of just always, the story in this game, you're kind of embracing just how silly it is and that, you know? But you mainly play this game for the awesome uh, Rhythm mini games and stuff, so yeah. Uh, these are my two favourite 3DS games of this year, so yeah. And um, that's all of them. Uh, like I said, 2012's not been the best year so far, but we'll see how it ends up. You never know, it could uh, could get better. Uh, so yeah, that's that guys. See you after, thanks for watching. Bye bye.